I made this pizza using Vito Lacapelli's double fermentation Polish pizza dough recipe, probably the most popular pizza recipe on the internet today. The biggest problem with that pizza recipe is the video is over 20 minutes long. So I'm gonna show you the detailed version of how to make Vito's recipe in under two minutes. Let's get going. Vito starts this recipe 48 hours in advance with a poolish. His poolish recipe is 300 milliliters of water, 300 grams of flour, preferably double zero if available, five grams of honey, and five grams of yeast. Mix it all up to form a sloppy mess. Then cover and let it rest at room temperature for one hour. After that, put it in the fridge for 16 to 24 hours. The next day the poolish has doubled in size and it's all oobly boobly. I grab a large mixing bowl and add 400 milliliters of water followed by all of my poolish. Mix that up a little bit, then I add 30 grams of sea salt and 700 grams of flour. You'll probably want to start mixing this in the bowl with a large spoon, I just go right in with my hands. I mix everything up until the point where the flour has been incorporated, then I cover and let it rest for 10 minutes. After that 10 minutes I move it to the table to hand knead. I do this for a few minutes and then I add the 10 grams of olive oil straight to the dough, then continue kneading for another 5 to 10 minutes. Now I'll let it rest for 15 minutes covered under the bowl. After that 15 minutes, it's ready for a few more slap and folds, then I grease a large bowl and toss the dough right on in. Cover tightly and move to the fridge where it bulk cold ferments for 16 to 24 hours. After that, remove your dough and portion it to the size you need. I'm going with 250 gram dough balls for a 12 inch pizza. Then you go ahead and ball it all up. To do this, gently stretch the dough apart, fold it back onto itself, rotate 45 degrees, and repeat until you have a nice tight ball. Place it into a greased airtight container or a sheet pan and cover. Let it rest for two to four hours at room temp and you are ready to make pizza. Stretch it, top it, bake it, I baked this in the rock box at 850 degrees and it turned out just right. Although I think this is a solid recipe, I also think there are a few things that can be adjusted to make it a little easier and produce a more flavorful crust. I'll be sharing those changes in a separate video, so keep an eye out for that and don't forget to hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.